Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to CC Sim Racing. My name is Craig Cook. I am your commentator for this evening. Um, very strangely, we only seem to have seven, maybe eight drivers. I'm so sorry. We, I was not expecting that. I um, haven't been able to look at the Discord at all, all day. Um, I'm just hoping a couple more people do actually um, enter the fray. But uh, well, anyway, um, especially after last week, I was expecting a lot more people to be here. Um, so yes, last week was absolutely epic, wasn't it? And uh, it really did show the men from the boys with some uh, great racing. Sorry, two weeks ago with some great racing uh, between Danny C and Ash Roy. And uh, my goodness me, it was a battle, wasn't it? And uh, all the way down to the wire and that it was. So welcome, everybody. Welcome to uh, LB Racing as well, who is on the grid and uh, we do have a little announcement to make. Um, obviously, we'll add more to it while these guys are on track. I'm pretty sure we should have 10 in the room, but uh, unfortunately, at the minute, we only have eight. Um, so hopefully, we do have more. Um, but um, before we go anywhere, uh, let's just take a look at something that is happening. And uh, if you become a member here at CC Sim Racing, oh, look at that, and gifted one CC Sim membership. Ha ha, da dun. <laughs> And uh, there you go, Steve is now been gifted by LB Racing. There you go, so uh, a gifted membership to uh, finalise. So happy days to finalise. He should be actually in the room, so I'm not too sure where finalise is at the moment. Uh, but uh, yes, uh, this is the announcement. So thank you very much to our new partners here, uh, racerscollective.com. And if you follow that collections uh, forward slash CC Sim Racing, uh, you can be part of that indeed and it's gonna be absolutely epic because now we can buy t-shirts and mugs and caps and whatnot and if you go and have a look on the site i will bring it up again in a minute um but yeah we are now part of the racing collective so very very pleased to have them on board and a special today as well um if you do become a member here at cc sim racing um, and you are in the tow, not on the grid, in the tow, for $1.99, you will get 10% off uh, in the store with uh, a special code you will get, and uh, you'll get 10% off um, as of now. So if you want to be uh, on the grid and then in the tow, you can be part of this as well. So absolutely fantastic. Finalised, where are you, my friend? You, you should be racing today. What's going on? I can't see him. He's put yay on the thing, but I can't see him in the room, which is a bit worrying. Uh, so we will give him a couple more minutes, but uh, yeah, so thank you very much to uh, Racers Collective. So um, while we do that, let's uh, take a look at the um, Pro Championship at the moment, because it's got very, very interesting. We've obviously Danny C at the top of the table still, and looks very, very comfortable up there, doesn't he? At the minute, with three points ahead with 46 points. Then Ash Roy on uh, 43. Lewis is there in, th in third place, so he's absolutely buzzing with that with 41 uh, then we have finalized also there with 36 34 for matt who's not here today handy point also not here on 30 points legion also not here on with 28 audio muted on 24 petrol bloke on 24 now dropped into the am and i think he's very pleased to do so clive is here this week as well on 18 points so watch out for him he should be up there today butler on his second race on 10 points since southpaw again debut uh, on nine points curry again not able to race today uh, and at the bottom there, if I correctly, uh, if I go back to there again quickly, because uh, that was way too quick for me to get it all the information. Oh, yeah, V8 Jag, uh, who is here today, which is fantastic to see. So we do have nine drivers out on track um, and we do have finalized on the way. So what I'm going to jibber jabber for a little while uh, is changing the livery, apparently. Uh, fun finally, uh, unfortunately, we can't use the new car, which is a real shame because that would have been fantastic. Basically, we were going to use the Auris as the safety car. Unfortunately, we can't tonight, but we will be changing that for the next races. So uh, that will be uh, very, very interesting indeed. Uh, don't forget as well, if you can, please do like and subscribe to the channel uh, while we let the guys uh, run out for a few laps on track. We will take a look at them in a moment. And also, if you're available on Monday... This is what's happening. The AWRC Championship is going to be absolutely mega. Can't wait for that. And uh, it is going to be absolutely wicked. So there is the AWRC Championship uh, sponsored by Leap. That is going to be live 7.30 on Monday. Um, we might be doing a little special tomorrow. It depends on time, basically. So it's going to be a rush thing. 
and we were looking at doing an Easter special where we're going to have 50 pounds of vouchers PlayStation vouchers so it'd be five 10 pound vouchers up for grabs and it'd be all about how you drive it doesn't matter if you win it doesn't matter if you come last if you drive and you're respectful and it's seen on the ca on the camera you will be getting a voucher and obviously if you're all doing it i'm going to get a bit worried because it's going to get very very expensive indeed but hopefully we can do that tomorrow and that is one of the things that we are looking at doing uh she says definitely ladies are wicked they are wicked uh there we go so finalize is in the room now he's just changing livery so i'm just wondering if there has been a change of on um, somewhat with his livery we're going to find out is he a new driver for somebody is it a big build up was it bigger than races collective still waiting for him to load up but we've got a new update so i'm not too sure what it's done <laughs> it's made uh any difference at all we've got uh oh we can't say that lee edwards unfortunately um and he is in the room and finalize is back of his original livery so no no drama there so brilliant he's in the room everyone's ready um let's take a look uh, at this uh amazing track because uh, i raced on here on monday and it was absolutely incredible really enjoyable great fun and uh, Ashwell are going around. There's Danny C, championship leader at the moment, looking for another win. Evening to Jason Bife. How are you doing, mate? Good luck to you tonight, mate. Uh, Danny C is in the pits for a tyre change. There's Clive. He's looking for a good win as well. Hopefully, he'll get his first win in the Lamborghinis, but we'll never know until the fat lady sings. Uh, there's Butler in third place at the moment in his new livery. Great to have him with us. Audio muted as well, running uh, for... CC Sim Racing, so a lot of the CC guys in the pros, which is fantastic to see. We've got a guest driver, which is game up, looks pretty good on track. There's no hopping and skipping, which is fantastic, which is what we want. Uh, we've got V8 Jack, who is really, really hopping and skipping, isn't he? So uh, hopefully that won't cause any problems. You might have to start from the back of the grid, but he is definitely jumping around like a good one, uh, which is going to be very worrying. Southpaw's come out as well. There he is in seventh place. And we look to see if he's going to make any changes to his uh first race that debut race that he had it was absolutely fantastic uh what lap will to say <laughs> richard i thought you were racing tonight you can hop in mate there's plenty of time uh not too sure who that is that is cc oh that's danny c so danny c chilling there's ashboy also chilling so everyone looks like they're ready um, not too sure if uh, Richard is coming in or not, but I don't think he is. But we have 20 people watching, which is absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much for joining us. And uh, we're going to get this one underway. But we will uh, give um, V8 Jag a message just to let him know that he is glitching. So he might have to start from the back of the grid. So hopefully Adam Bath is listening. Uh, he might be listening in the chat. I'm not too sure. But if he can just let um, V8 Jag know that he is glitching, he might have to start from the back of the grid. So let's get this qualifying started. So we have 10 minutes of qualifying. And uh, then we have the 40-minute race spot. Uh, it's going to be absolutely epic. Thank you very much for everyone that has joined us. I will leave it as it is. I won't change anything for the time being. And uh, see how everyone gets on here. Yeah, hopefully, Dave, everyone has done a... A lot of practice it's been a very very tough track indeed as uh we've all seen safety car won't come out uh <laughs> with the pros oh i don't know oh i don't know check it out oh well check it out check it out it says oh, i don't know what uh, lb was saying check it out he's saying check it out for some reason but uh lovely that celebratory gift there uh, of having being a member so don't forget as i said you could be a member today uh of um cc sim racing for one pound 99 and that'll put you in the toe and it'll also be give you an opportunity to get 10% off races collective with all that there if you can uh, just type that up and copy and paste or whatever you want to do obviously you can't copy and paste off there because that'd be really weird but yeah obviously we can, we'll send that link over to you as soon as we possibly can actually i might be able to do it now on the chat so you can have a look at that and uh, take a look for yourself right so drivers are out let's go and take a look at them now on track we'll get all the details up and uh, there is audio muted we'll leave the tiles on for qualifying so you can see and uh, they will have 10 minutes, so you'll see them coming in probably after lap three for a tyre change with the low fuel. That should bring these lap times down to around about 23, 22s. I did hear that somebody did a 21, but we shall see what happens during this race. So audio muted there in ninth place at this moment. There is Clive Smith at the moment in first place. Lewis there in second. And uh, so everyone is there. Slow Peak has just arrived and uh, very, very late indeed. That's very, very slow. Uh, so we might have to do a grid 
a grid revamp after this, but I'm, I'm really pleased he has arrived because that means there's more drivers on track, but he will have to start from the back of the grid. So, there is Lewis Beckenham, who's doing a fantastic job on comms here for CC Sim Racing. Uh, you can see him on the Monday nights for that and the Academy as there's a little dive down the inside and uh, probably on a qualifier here, both of these guys. So, that might be... Uh, Lewis now on the qualifier and I think uh, Clive might just back out of this to give himself some room but maybe not he might just grab the toe but that would be a very good lap indeed there is finalized in third place so wait for these first qualifying times to come in the our leaders somewhere there is two cars out front and I'm not too sure who those two cars are i'm trying to grab them there they are it is still clive and lewis so um oh lewis is uh, very very sideways coming through there and he might want to back out of that and uh, start all over again but uh, we've got uh, come on lewis uh, get on the top uh, top spot of that podium that'd be fantastic wouldn't it so we've got 26 viewers thank you everyone for joining us um we will put the uh, banners up as well don't forget we have the safety car so safety car uh, will be lit up as well and uh, there it is up there and so if we do have a safety car that will be implemented we have the fuel tire wear and the weather changes on your left hand side of your screen so that will also come up when we start racing so finalized goes into pole position danny c then just sneaks that little number in there and now finds himself two temps up and then ash boy goes even closer look at that Three hundredths of a set, uh, three se uh, hundredths of a second there, from uh, Ash Boy to Danny C. So fantastic stuff from him. As Ash Boy goes very wide and into the wall, and that's how easy it is. And he is second in the championship, so he will not look at that again. And he'll be straight away getting into the pits because he has got still seven minutes. So he's just gonna get that car back to the pits get repaired and have another chance at this uh, lap but also he will be going flat out to burn some fuel off but that was not what he wanted uh do they know uh it's only quality at the moment <laughs> mario i don't know i really don't know so danny c coming through we have uh, butler just in front butler tonight uh unfortunately on pad uh after doing his back so uh, he moves out of the way for Danny C to come through. We'll stay with Danny C, championship leader, as he comes through now. Doesn't go any faster this time, or does he come into the pits? Wider line there. Looks like he's going to be tucking in. No, he's going for it. He is going for it. And uh, Lewis goes now into sixth place, and Butler comes into the pits. Danny C has the fastest lap again. Goes two temps up. So there he goes. Ash White still on his way back to the pit. So he comes in. Southpaw. And there we go. He's been practicing. He's there in second place. And finds himself 900 of a second behind the leader. The yeah, Jag on a 24-9. That still puts him down in ninth spot at the moment. Finalized in fourth. Clive in fifth. Mikey does a 28-9. Very tough car this round this track. You've got to make sure you get the hairpin right for starts. You can see Southpaw just backs out of this one. Moves out of the way of the other drivers that are coming through. There you go. There's Aldi Muted coming through as well. He just flashed his lights. So thank you very much, mate. Appreciate that. Southpaw will be very pleased with that lap as we see Aldi Muted come through. See his time as he comes through the sector. Very tough part of the track here. So you can either go with a downforce setting and put some grip on that car or go with a lower downforce and go for the speed uh, there is uh, James McAdam who is the admin for the academy uh, hi Greg hi hello and uh, audio muted coming through under the tunnel now comes through not too bad at all three temps off the lead lap into the final sector and again very easily done over the lift of that final corner there second from last should I say um, it can be quite easily done into the wall but already muted backs out Danny C comes through again does goes half a second faster than anybody else on the track and gets very skittish on these racing soft tires we have four minutes to go qualifying and Danny C holds the lead by half a second but don't forget this is only qualifying anything can happen in qualifying but anything can also happen in the race so Danny C at the moment in Pole position. So, new tyres for Southpaw. He's going to try and go for that pole. 
So in he goes, out he goes. Lovely looking livery as well. Absolutely stunning. So out goes Southport. Up the hill he goes. There is a very slow looking vehicle there parked on the edge. And that's already muted. So I think he was waiting. It looked like he was waiting for a car to come through. Ashwoit now is going to start his lap as a V8 Jag with a free second penalty. Very painful indeed. Don't forget to please like and subscribe. And we do appreciate all your support here at CC Sim Racing as we push forward for bigger and better. Cracking time from Southport. It really is, isn't it? Absolutely superb indeed. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's see those numbers come up. Let's get let's get um, the members in. Don't forget 99p to be a member here at CC Sim Racing. 99p a month. Not breaking the bank, but it really does help us here at CC Sim. Uh, those that pitted will improve, yep, by about half a second, exactly right. And as you can see, Danny C is in the pits, but we're going to stay with Ashwoy at the moment as he comes through down the dipper and uh, try and hold the outside line as much as he possibly can. Practicing a lot. Danny C in the 22s, as we can see. So he's going to cross the line now and does a 23-3. Stays in third place we'll keep an eye on that so Danny C at the moment is the man to beat and he's warming up the tyres ready for another lap the, the uh, fuel's come down two minutes to go so he will get the go round again already muted just coming into the pits as well so Southpaw flying as he comes up the hill into the braking zone hard on the brakes fantastic stuff into first gear just dropping it into second on the exit into third, into fourth, into fifth. And most people that I've seen have literally been screaming it in fifth gear, but uh, not tonight. And as you can see, just looking at Southpaw's speed there, 171. So to me, it looks like he's gone for downforce to to uh, grip, and uh, that could. Not, no, oh, we'll see, we'll see. He's gone, for, yeah, that was about 171, 172 miles per hour, and that was without tow. So that's that's looking to me like that's a, a very low downforce as Butler puts in a 23 7 and puts him into sixth place. Shadow says, Let's go, Danny. He's looking very good at the moment, mate. I must admit, as he crosses the line, he starts his lap now. Ashwoy goes in a second, he's now a tenth. Look at that. Only a tenth behind Danny C for that pole position. Going to be very close. We have 40 seconds to go. So it's do or die for both of these drivers now as they come through. Danny C, I think, might get another lap. Uh, VH Jack goes faster again with a 24. Mikey Humphrey goes down, uh, drops two seconds on his lap with a 26. So well done to our guest driver tonight. Let's take a look at Danny C on the brakes. He's looking very aggressive through here now, isn't he? I didn't quite see the speed he was going through the tunnel, but again, just getting a twitch on there as he goes through the right-hander over the curbing. Into the tunnel, hard on the brakes, into the left-hander. The tunnel again, into the left-hander. Look at this, incredible, absolutely incredible. It's incredible <laughs> and unbelievable at the same time. Uncredible, that's my new word for the year. This is an incredible lap. So into the braking zone of the final corner. Can he go into the 21s? Finalized, pumps himself into a 22-8, puts him third place and puts Southpaw into fourth. Danny C coming over the line now. Where does he go? He crosses the line. Oh, what a time from Danny C. There's a 22-5. Danny, uh, here comes Ashwood. Does he go faster? He does. No, he doesn't. So he does a 23 flat. There is finalised. He comes through as well. There he is in third place. Southpaw crosses the line now. What does he do? Oh, this looks good as well. Oh, it goes to the second. He pips second. By four hundredths of a second. Look at that. That's incredible. Finalised in fourth. Clive in fifth place. He crosses the line. Butler in uh, uh, sixth place. Lewis in seventh. Audio muted. Still on a lap. So let's see what he can do. Comes out of the final corner. Looking very quick indeed. My dog's barking in the background. He can't believe how fast they're going. Crosses the line. That's a good time from um, Audio Muted. And that puts him up into fifth place. Great stuff. Danny C on pole. Southpaw second and Ash Roy in third. My goodness me. Ash didn't pit. No. 
Very, very interesting. But he did have damage on his car, so he did pit earlier on, Mario. I don't know if you saw that or not. But thank you very much to all that are watching. Don't forget to please share to your socials. It really does make so much difference with that help on socials. I'm hoping I can um, put the link in for you now. Uh, it's work. Yes, it is. So there we are. There is the link if you would like to buy any of our gear. And uh, that would be absolutely fantastic. Hoodies, t-shirts. You can have printed um, numbers and names on the back of your shirts. Uh, Leap sponsors on there as well. Uh, we are going to have a limited edition, limited edition also uh, to this as well. Um, we will have to have a quick break while we just sort out the grid because we do have another driver in the room. So I do apologise to everyone that is watching. Thank you very much that are. Um, but uh, we'll just take a look at those race results. Um, yes, someone who was late to qualify in lobby. Yeah, I see him, mate. Don't worry. I see him. So, uh, let's take a look at those results as it stands. So, it's Danny C on pole position, uh, followed by Southpaw there in second place. Uh, just behind him is Ash Roy, finalised there in set in uh, fourth, then Audi muted fifth, Clive in sixth, Butler in seventh, Lewis in eighth, and then we have V8 Jag in ninth olympic gamer in 10th and obviously we have our safety car man which is adam bath who today will definitely not be having a pizza um if you can give us a, a couple of minutes we'll just get this sorted and then we'll get the race back underway so please just listen to some fantastic music here at cc sim racing while we sort this out
Welcome, welcome, welcome back, everybody. Thank you very much for your patience. I do appreciate that. Those two viewers that left, how dare you? Uh, but hopefully you'll be back for the race. But Adam Bath is taking them out. It's uh, Danny C on pole position. Southpaw in third, in second. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me start again. There's Adam Bath that's leading the way. Danny C it will take pole position. It's Southpaw in second. Ashmoy third. Finalised in fourth. Audio muted in fifth. It's Clive there in sixth. Butler in seventh. LB Racing in 8th, V8 Jag in ninth, and then it's Gamer in 10th, and Slow Peak, who was just a little bit late, uh, will start at the back of the grid. But uh, there is our safety car, he is taking them round, and uh, we're going to see the guys warming up the tyres in the background. As you can see, Danny C slowing the pace down. All cars should be going round at about uh, approximately 90-ish mile an hour, but obviously we're going through the S's here, so it gets a little bit tight, as you can see. So Adam Bath going through the motions. Shame we couldn't use the new Auris today, which is a real shame, but uh, great to see all the drivers here for the next round. Yeah. It'll be absolutely epic for the, <laughs> the race in a couple of weeks' time because they're at Autopolis. So uh, Adam Bath is just letting them know now that he will be disappearing to the pits and off he will go anytime about now. So off he goes. He'll start opening up the taps. And there he goes indeed. So Danny C now takes over with Southpaw in second, Ashmoy third. It's uh, finalised in fourth. So here we go. As they get closer and closer and closer, we're going to wait for the drivers to cross the line. They're very close together this time round. Ashmoy sitting right up the backside of Danny C. And the lights have gone now and away we go great start from the front four they left the uh, other guys behind and uh, here we go danny c has got southpaw to his outside as they go into turn one up the hill now sparks are blazing and is it gonna be danny c who takes it up into the hairpin yes it is but it looks like also ash has got down the inside for position oh he's left it breeze Breaks a little bit late there, but he's managed to hold on. And Lewis had a fantastic start as well. He's up into sixth and looks like he's going for fifth. Brilliant start. But Danny C holds the lead on board with Danny C. And let's see if we can see Ashboy. There he is. He's coming through now. Where is he? There he is to our left-hand side. Danny C's got the inside line. Is he going to do this? No, he's not. I don't think he is. He might try and defend, but it looks like Ashboy's done it. He's got it done. Round the outside. And it's Ashboy in the lead, followed by Danny C. But Southport's having a little piece of this action as well. But it's Ashboy from Danny C, Southpaw finalised then we've got Audio Mutes, had a, another great start again as Audio Muted, Lewis is 6th, there's Clive in 7th, Butler in 8th and they're all together on this first lap and it's absolutely mental going through at the moment so, Ashboy, Danny C, Southpaw oh wow, Audio Muted just had a little bit of a twitch on there and this side by side is Lewis and Audio Muted and there's a little bit of contact there but it looks like he's Managed to hold it round the outside. Lewis is going for the outside line. And has he got it done? He has. He's gone right round the outside and got that move. Absolutely peach perfect. So a little move there. A little bit of a mistake there, looked like, from Audio Muted. Looks like uh, Lewis managed to get down the inside. As trying to get that power down, did Audio here. Oh, there's a little bit of contact. I don't know if that was enough for him to snake that. But Audio Muted says, well, anything you can do, I can do better. And then Lewis says, oh, I don't know about that. Round the outside. Thank you very much. Gets the move done. So back to the leaders. Ashroy, Danny C. It's Southpaw finalised. Let's go on board with Southpaw there in fifth place. Uh, fourth place on board with him now. And just behind is Lewis. And here we 
he is in fourth place. There's Audi Mood just behind him, and Audi Mood's looking very racing. Looks down the inside. Oh, he's got that done. <laughs> he's got it done down the inside, and Lewis is giving him a little bit of a, a bump there as well. There goes Clive, also in seventh place. The flames are popping out of that V10. Absolutely fantastic stuff from all the racers. We might not have a full grid, but I'll tell you what, it makes it as tasty as a full grid, doesn't it? Brilliant, brilliant racing. So, let's go back on board with the leaders. There they are. So, it's Ashroy, Danny C, Southpaw, Finalized, Audi Muted, Lewis, Clive, Butler. We have Jimmy RS Smokes has come on, Clivey boy. Loving the Clive um, group have come back again. Hello, guys. Great to see you. <laughs> So it looks like Southpaw's got a good run here. Let's go on board with Southpaw. He's got a good run on Danny C. But again, we're just going to see what sort of speeds he's doing through here, Southpaw. I mean, anywhere it's around the 171, you know he's got hard, you know, really good downforce. But again, because he's in the tow, he's losing the front end of the car. And as you can see, they're all on the brakes. They're all trying to get that brake on. And Southpaw was very close to making contact. But he's going to have to cut back here is the Scotsman, and he might get this done here, but final life is looking superb. So, while we do that, let's uh, take a look at the, uh, let's take the cover off now, we can, we can see who's got what. So, in the lead at the moment is Mr. Racing Medium's Ash Roy. Danny C's under real pressure, he's on the medium tyre. Now, I'm just wondering if Southpaw's got the soft tyre on. He has, he's got racing softs on. That's why he's looking so fast to get past. And there is a spinner in the background, so we'll keep an eye on that. There's finalised in fourth, he's on the mediums. Audio Mute is on the mediums. Lewis is on the racing soft. Clive also there on the racing medium. Butler there on the mediums. He has damage, has Butler front damage indeed there is v8 jack he has damage as well we've got olympic uh got typical gamers shall i say and slow peak at the back there uh how it was the one who spun off let's take a look at that replay now i think it was slow peak i'm not actually entirely sure we will have a look at uh sort of like v8 jack all oh, right okay so let's have a look here so down the inside is v8 jag are we going to see a in here anywhere does it look like somebody definitely spun out oh clive is also in the, the mix there i've definitely had squeaky tires so i'm probably going to see a spinner there was definitely a spinner i'm sorry but <laughs> what's going on there there was definitely a spinner Anyway, let's have a look. So, it's Ash Roy, Danny C. And again, South Border is looking for that pass early on. On board again. Let's go on board with Danny C, actually. That would be quite good to watch Danny C's point of view. There we go. Danny C with South Border just behind. Now, that's a very brave move from South Border. Maybe he's thinking there could be a potential safety car. As you can see, Adam Bath, centre of the uh, top right-hand side of your screen. Start off in the straight, just parked up, waiting for his pizza. Mario says the uh, racing soft won't last. Great battles going on here, says Richard. He's looking very quick indeed. He's definitely closing the softball. Goes sideways. Very lucky indeed. Back on to the leaders. Again, softball just getting contact with the wall there. My goodness me. Very, very close to damage. Oh, and again. So this is going to play into finalised hands. There we go. Let's take a look at these fuel trims. And there, there's an audio muted. There in fifth place. Lewis has got low fuel. But again, on the racing soft tyre, he's really pushing the boat out, isn't he? There is uh, Clive on the medium. Great to have Clive back racing here. There is a V8 Jag with that uh, damage on the front and that heavy glitching. There is a uh, typical there in ninth. That's that 126. Good man. Well done. There is a slow peak also. Half a 1.5 second penalty. Ouch. Not what you want uh, here today. Unfortunately, he would be racing in the AM class, but uh, couldn't make the time. So, Butler has come out onto the track. He has now got the two of those parts of the damages sorted. He's also fueled up and on the racing medium, so he'll be praying for a safety car. So, it's Ash Roy. 1.2 seconds in the lead now. Lewis has the fastest lap of the 23.6, but the tyre wear is starting to come down as much as the fuel as Ash Roy goes very sideways again. Danny C still in the mix. 1.2 seconds. Point deficit at the moment, as you can see. This is not going to help Southpaw at all. He's hoping for a safety car. As he goes over the grass again. 
but finalised in fourth place. Lewis there in fifth place. They, they did this update and they still haven't finished fixed that refuel. Absolutely frustrating that is. There is Audi muted. On the climb now through the left hander sweeping round. And to close up on the racing soft tyre of Lewis who's doing a fantastic job. Third in the championship is Lewis. There he is on track. Again, very twitchy in the background of the two drivers. There's a good old battle going between uh, V8 Jag and uh, typical gamer guest driver today. Unfortunately, uh, his uh, driver is not racing today. We do have a driver who's just come into the pits for the, the racing softs and also filled up the tank as well. So. We are 10 minutes into this race. Ashwoy still holding the lead. Danny C second. There's Southpaw finalised. All the front top four together at the moment. Very good here is that man, Ashwoy. Let's see if we can get some out car footage. There we go. Oh, and Southpaw dives into the pit. I think Southpaw might get a penalty there. He lunged into the pits. He's on that uh, soft tyre minutes in eight laps it should go to around 14 so we'll go and have a look at uh, Southpaw he's going on what's he going on is he going to go on the hard tire is he going on the racing softs we won't see at the moment again another thing they could have sorted out there Wech is Wech says Sir Max now he comes on to the medium tire now this could help out uh, Butler who's there in 10th spot drivers make their way out on track and there is Southpaw. So back to the leaders. Ashwoy still holding it. 1.3 seconds. Danny C in second. There he is. CCR driver. Leading the championship. Finalised in third place now. Went for a different option this time round. He's gone for the uh, medium tyre instead of the racing soft which he's used I think for the last two races. Quite worked out for him. There's Lewis there in fourth. That's uh, racing soft. Very second hand now is the near side rear tyre. Comes in. Does he come into the pits this time around? No, he's taking another gamble. He's going for it again. So opened up, have the gaps now. Audio muted there in fifth. Let's take a look at the fuel. So Audio muted's fuel looks absolutely spot on. So this is not helping Lewis at all at this moment in time. Very open race so far. Actually, 1.3 seconds in the lead from Danny C. Finalised there, still in third. Top four, pretty much nose to tail. Wide death from Audio. Getting very lucky not to get a penalty there. The automatic lights come on. There is Clive. Now, trying to show some pace again. The 24s at the moment. There is Gamer in seventh. Southpaw on the medium tyre. Very early on into this race. That's his pit stop. We get a good seven laps out of it, didn't they? Southpaw needs loads of fuel saving. Better pit again for Sauce at the end. Yeah, that's a great shout, that is, Mario. Massive shout there. So Lewis still has the fastest time with a 23.6. There is Ashroy coming around the final corner now. Danny C there as well in second place. Still going around. There's finalised. It all looks pretty darn good for all these drivers. And again, Lewis is going for another lap. Now, this could be... Very crucial. He's got to keep that under control because we saw Danny C last time on pad with tyres like this and it didn't work out very well for him. So he's going to come through the sweeping right-hander into the left. And this is where we're going to find out if he can hold his nerve on the braking. He does do indeed. And that's the problem now because as he goes into the braking zone, that car will not want to power out. And Audio Muted is now on the chase with teammate Clive just behind him. So uh, we will keep tabs on this one. Look at that. No tyre left on that near side rear. 
battle going on in front and it looks like was that Danny C? No it wasn't, I do apologise. But they were a lot closer then. They are definitely closing up on Lewis. We're gonna stay with Lewis as he goes over the grass and that could be a penalty. He's gone over the grass there. That could be a penalty. And this is where he's going to lose a lot of time because that power is not going to come down. And Audio Muted is closing, closing, closing as he goes into that left hander trying to save the car. Look at the skidding from this car. Sliding all over the place. He's got no tyre left and he's trying to defend. And Audio Muted is going to go around the outside of Lewis for a position. Needs to be careful here. <laughs> Great driving from Lewis. He's managed to get that car held. And he goes into the pits. And that was very, very lucky indeed. Didn't help in that last lap. And uh, there he is in sixth place. So back to the leader. Ashwoy in the lead. Danny C there in second place. We're going to see finalised come into shot now. There he is. Now with a battle between Clive and Audio Muted as they come over the top. Who's going to take it? It's still Audio Muted in fourth. Ron Clive in fifth. No team orders here at CC. He has. He's on an absolutely fantastic strategy, isn't he, at the moment? So, finalised, looking very, very good indeed. And he hold on. We see a driver coming out of the pit, so we're going to see who that is. That's Lewis. He has got Southpaw next to him. Or is that Butler? It's Butler, and Butler goes round the outside. And is he going to hold it? Lewis is going to try and defend. He's got it done. As Lewis, <laughs> Butler tries to get it inside line, but Lewis goes out wide. And now in to the slipstream goes Butler on board now with Butler. Very, very good management skills there from Finalize. We will keep an eye on that. We will keep an eye on our leaders as well as Butler looks to the inside. Two pad drivers battling away here. But it looks like Lewis has got away with this, hasn't he? As the sun starts to come out will definitely help the drivers as he gets a half second penalty for his trouble unfortunately for him he gets a half second penalty there is Ash White and I think those guys might need to pit again you know <laughs> I was expecting a fan call hey mate it's not over yet it's not over yet Adam oh there is a spinner oh there is a there is a crash there is a crash further down now who is that oh there's big crash there's a big big crash Though I'm not too sure if that's damage on both cars. That's slow peak. No, it's just the one. But V8 Jag really ploughed into the wall there. Two parts damage. And again, still nothing from it. But he's hopping and skipping everywhere at the minute. So, Gamer into the pits. Gamer out the pits. Or is he? No, still Butler trying to find a way through. Oh! Sideways as Lewis. He loses the back end of the car. And that is going to be Butler sh surely through. No, it's not. Great exit from Lewis again. Brilliant racing from the two of them. Really is. Fantastic stuff. He's not saving his tyres today, mate. <laughs> I can assure you of that. So, let's take a look at that again. That was absolutely fantastic. Need to keep an eye on our leaders. So, there it was. Going to keep an eye on Lewis here as he comes round the left hand up. Watch this. Fantastic. On the braking as well. Oh! Ho, ho. Gets it. Brake held. And he manages to hold that position from Butler. Brilliant stuff. Absolutely fantastic. Penalty also, though, for Butler. So, Ashwood, 2.5 seconds in the lead from Danny C. Still there in second. These guys are going long, aren't they? Look at this. Fantastic stuff. Danny C starting to show degradation on the left rear. Finalize is also looking very good. But I'll tell you what, Danny C's fuel is fantastic. So, that's going to benefit him later on in the race. There is Clive in fourth place. He's not that far away, really. Four seconds isn't that far away. Audio muted there in fifth. Audio is also on a very good high management. Southport. Only seven seconds off the leader. There's Butler and Lewis still battling away. 1.5 seconds penalty for Butler as he takes the penalty. And there goes Lewis. Goodness me. There is Slow Peak. A man from Sweden having a good old run here. There is V8 Jag. He is going to change up. Hopefully, hopefully he doesn't have any more incidents. Lewis is driving the wheels off that thing. He really is, isn't he? Oh, Ash White. 
looking good. Driver coming out. That's V8 Jag. So that's not where you want to keep him. And he's going to catch V8 Jag here. And he needs to make sure he gets out of the way here. He's moved out of the way and he's done the right thing. Well done to V8 Jag. He's seen the leaders coming through. And he's just moved out of the way. So here is V8 Jag. He doesn't really want to be overtaking the leader. <laughs> Sitting behind him. Brave moments here. Brace yourself, ladies and gentlemen. This could get nasty into the breaking zone. Oh my goodness me. So Danny C has to play with this as well. So Danny C under real pressure. He needs to get that car out of the way. He's flashing his lights at the at V8 Jag, trying to get him out of the way. And it's costing him. It's absolutely costing him. Up to 2.3. Really frustrating. No respect for the drivers up front at all. Absolutely terrible. Now he moves over. And Danny C has lost some time there, hasn't he? But Ashboy's in. Danny C will carry on. But to pro the problem was is that Danny C's got no tyre. And that's going to hugely, hugely cost him. So there is Ash in the pits. Finalise comes through as well. So finalise now in the red. There is Clive in third. So Clive's having a good run. He started very, very slowly, but now starting to find his feet, isn't he? Already muted now in fourth. He's going to now take that fourth place from Ash Boy, who now grew. Let's have a look. There goes South Fourth. Be muted in. Now is all you need to go to fuel to the end. Yes, he is. So he goes in and comes out. Shakes it all about. Butler and Lewis are through. So Butler probably will need to pit again. And same for Lewis. But then again, Lewis looks pretty good at the moment. He doesn't look too bad. Let's uh, go back to Danny C trying his best to get that car back to the pits which he has done very very gingerly indeed oh it's sliding all over the place definitely a penalty for sure uh, Danny C is going to just turn the wheel in and he's going to make sure he gets that done and does so so finalised will also be following suit but look how much Clive Court finalised that's incredible. So Southpaw could take the lead of this race, which obviously won't be very nice for um, Danny C and the likes of uh, Ashboy, who's behind him at the moment. So this will be for position. Danny C is going to be coming out any time now. There is his fuel. Where is Ashboy? Ashboy's come through. But where is he going to pan out? Danny C has filled up. So he's going for a full ding-dong race now. He'll be flat out. 17 minutes to go. There is Ashboy. Where does Danny C fill out? So four seconds down the road. And that's how much it cost him. But there is Lewis. There is Clive. Who's going to come out of here first? Oh, Butler's there. Butler's down the inside. He had to think about the braking. Clive's going to try and get that inside line down on Danny's elder. Butler there. But it doesn't quite work out for him. And Butler manages to hold that fifth place. Finalise has been pipped by Clive. And now Audio Muted is there also. So on board with Finalize. Is he going to take a move here on Clive? Let's have a look. On 76 as he comes down to the straight. Hard on the brakes. Both of them side by side. Great respect from the two drivers. And he's got the inside line. And Finalize goes through. Great, great driving from those two. Superb respect. Absolutely fantastic into the braking zone I've seen him there let's get a power down gets a little bit of grass dirty tyres finalise says thank you very much in two if uh, sick place he goes now again trying to get that tyre to warm up is the problem for uh, Clive at the moment finalise seems to have come out and uh, really enjoyed that uh, out lap so, Southpaw in the lead, four seconds up the road. But he will be coming in pretty soon. There is Ashroy, five seconds in front of this man, Danny C, championship leader. 
we've got Lewis there in fourth and then we've got this massive battle going on Butler's thinking I'm so pleased I'm not in this battle behind because they're at the cars as they go over the Brys and Butler fifth it's fine like sixth five there in seventh followed by audio muted good little battle then really enjoying this We're finalised, as you can see, all the trying to find the gap next to the uh, Onco there. That was very, very close indeed. No soft, says Mario. Surprise. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah, I, I hear you, Mary, but May, uh, Mayberino, definitely. Very frustrating for Danny. He was doing a good job there. Mike play into his hands later on into this race. Well, let's hope so. 14 minutes to go. Southport, Ashboy, Danny C, Lewis, Butler. But that will change. These guys should increase at least two spots here as Lewis comes in. Lewis comes into the pits. Now, he's got damage. He's got um, front aero and suspension. Now, where did he do that? think we're going to be able to see that are we no we're not unfortunately we cannot see that and uh, very very interesting to see this battle for th for fourth place is on isn't it look at this butler finalized clive's audio muted butler's on fresh air now so he's, he's under real pressure Finalize finds that gap. Look at this from Finalize. That's absolutely fantastic. Same pass again. Gets it done. Cutback could be on for Butler, but I don't think he's going to have enough in the tank. And it's finalized with another sensational move. Guys on fire. Into the breaking zone. Into the right hander. Takes a nice, nice line through there. Brilliant stuff. Fantastic. So Southport will lose the lead. He will and Southport into the pits that gives Ashway the lead back we will also see Danny C there's Danny C in the background he's only 4.6 so he has gained some time there hasn't he boy there see there is slow peaking again and the back markers are just not in the right place at the right time are they and well done to slow peak he's seen the leader come through and has let him pass brilliant stuff slow peak absolutely fantastic a great battle going on here. There is Southpaw. He's on the back of these guys. He's gone for the medium tyre again. 12 minutes to go. Surely that was a racing soft opportunity to close these guys up. There's still plenty of time for this safety car to come out. There's three guys battling here. Anything can happen. No, Ashboy, Danny C, finalise. Clive already muted. Southpaw. So by side of Clive and audio muted. Clive gets that done. Or this audio muted down the inside for the same pass. And Southport goes for a lunge down the inside. There was contact there as well. I tried to get the right picture. Unfortunately, I couldn't get that in time. And uh, Southport went for a big, big, deep lunge there. My goodness me. What a lunge. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> I think he thought better of it. Uh, I don't think I want to pass you guys after that. But... Uh, Brilliant stuff by Southport. Really pushing. He wants to get on that podium, doesn't he? Ashway, 3.9. It is coming down very, very slowly, but it is definitely coming down. Maybe mistakes are starting to creep in here from the man in the, in second in this championship at the moment. There is uh, Danny C. A very good drive indeed. And closing up to 4.1 mine. 4.3. But he was there. And it's come back now. 3.8. Slow peak in the background. Finalise has now managed to get away. So he'll be pushing on. There is Gamer. He's there in seventh place. So damage for Lewis did not help at all. Still plenty of racing to go. See, there is a move there from Southpaw on Clive. So Clive has got a penalty. And he's going and trying to get that inside line. And Clive seems to have the momentum. He's going defensive this time. He doesn't want to hold the, that inside line doesn't this time manage to keep Southport behind him but this is a brilliant little battle between these guys on board here with Southport let's move into the corner tries to put 
put the power down. The driver coming in to the pits here. Now, I think, is that going to be Butler? I don't think it is. That's, uh, that could be Slow Peak, actually. Battle here. See, there's Audio Clive finalised. Together there. Do you have a very slow driver? I think that's Slow Peak just slowing down and letting everyone through. Yes, it is, as it does so. Great to see. So, back to the leaders. 3.6 is the gap now. So, Ashwoy feeling that pressure. Danny C is slowly, slowly, slowly niggling at this time. But then we say that Ashwoy's just on a purple sector in sector one. So there is Ashwoy B coming through now. Great to see Beastman in the house. Thank you, buddy. Great to see you. Great to see everyone supporting their fellow drivers, members of their YouTube channels. Contact, was that contact there in the background? It looked like there was contact. I was just checking the map there. This battle here is absolutely immense. The car control shown by all of these guys is absolutely brilliant. muted there there's finalized Danny sees front as well I think that's V8 Jag just in front of them there so again blue flags will be out let's take a look at that gap still 3.8 seconds Danny C fastest lap 23.5 he's done a 23.9 on his previous lap Ashboy's done a 23.6 so it's sort of um leveled out a little bit here you don't want a penalty now do you are using all the track and a little bit more as they come through. Still that battle between Southpaw and Clive is going on as they go into the left hand, the second corner, into the third. Horrible little hairpin. Lewis is back into the pits again. Now, has Lewis got damage again? Surely not. No, he's just got no tyre left. I think he's just going to go for a quick racing soft, see if he can climb the ladder. On the best of days for Lewis today managed to clear Clive now and now he's after audio muted and on the brakes very very late I'm very well thanks beast man appreciate that mate uh, if anyone's if nobody's busy over the, uh, the 13th for the 14th come to Cadwell Park I'll be live commentating for the NG Road Racing Championships yeah. bikes totally new for me but it's going to be absolutely exciting as hell so here we go audio muted now under pressure from Southport oh but Clive sneaks a little dive down the inside oh just gets a little bit of dirt on the tyres and this is going to play into Clive's hands on board with Clive getting that toe here we go is he going to hit that 165 up the hill no he's backed out a little bit there hasn't he just Lifted off, off the throttle slightly. The southpaw looks again at Audio Muted. There's a little bit of contact. As you can see, the brakes locking up and Audio shuts the door. Very, very close indeed. It's really good pace from Audio. If he can hold on. If he can hold on, he'll be very pleased with this performance indeed. Absolutely brilliant stuff from him. Paul's tyres though will be looking better but he has got less fuel. Six minutes of this race to go. Clive's looking a bit racy. That was against Southpaw. A little bit of fun in the, in the dirt there. Oh goodness me these three are brilliant. Really enjoying this close racing. Nobody is giving up are they? absolutely brilliant so as they're doing this they're just letting finalise get away and that's for podium and as Southpaw has a look down the inside he goes for a little lunch down the inside and Audio Muted says not today Sunshine but again that narrow line from Southpaw gets the exit speed oh my goodness me and also loses the rear of the car unbelievable as it starts to get a little bit hazy now this is not going to help the uh, tyres very much Again, audio. There's a yellow flag out. There's a yellow flag. We have a spin up. We're in five minutes and 20. We are five minutes and 20. 
Now, who was that? There was a slow car up front. I think that might have been Butler. About 7th or 8th. There is Butler. Maybe it wasn't Butler. Oh, goodness me. Who was that? It was V8 Jag. And again, didn't get that three points damage. All of us gasping for air there. We're thinking there could be a safety car out. And that is it. Safety car will not be out. And... Uh, Adam Bath will be hoping he did have that pizza. Oh, Ash White looking very much like in cruise control at the moment. Tyres are looking okay. And you see also looking very good for tyres. But again, he can really start pushing now. In a 23.8. Lewis still... Lewis is the fastest time of a 1.23.3. That's great pace. Finalised. It's 2.2 on Southpaw. Southpaw's now got past for position on Audio Muted. So that's a change. And Southpaw now trying to close up. But he has low fuel and he will definitely have to pit. Oh, that's such a shame for him. They absolutely are murder to drive. And Adam Bath says safety car window closed. There you go. You actually. So, well done, mate. Yeah, we have a free damage policy. Engine damage or free parts damage. Safety car will be deployed. Fortunately for the night. Or fortunate, should I say. Everyone's been on fire. So Southport will be looking to pit. Watch Ash Roy. 3.8 seconds in the lead. Danny C is pushing. As you can see, down to the 24s there was Ash on the previous lap. 23 so two times faster that time round from Danny C there's a move there now was that for position I think that was I think that was all you made a mistake there so let's have a look at that it looks like there was a mistake going into the left hander there yep there it goes there's the smoke and there is the car going past so little mistake there from all the muted and Mr. Beastman has put in an in the toe. Happy, happy, happy joy. Number one. Thank you, Beastman. You're an absolute star. Really appreciate that. You also get a discount code as well for our new um, clothing range. Yeah. So there's Ash Roy in the lead. 3.6 now. Danny C's pushing. 2 minutes 30 seconds to go. And he's giving it some beans now, isn't he? Finalised. Holding third from Clive who's got audio muted all over the back of him. Like I said, no team orders to finalise. If he can get that fourth, he will be pushing for fourth. And he's right on the back of Clive now. Now, is he going to take a move down the inside? Does he look? No, he doesn't. He backs out, waits again. Audio has got less fuel than Clive. So Clive's looking in a better position. Southpaw holding that red, <laughs> red line of fuel to his, his heart's content at the moment. But Butler is closing in. There he is in seventh. He's got a minute and 50 seconds. He will have two laps. He will be nearly, well, he might get one lap, but I reckon it's going to be two here. So absolutely fantastic. Super chat for Beastman. Thank you very much, mate. Really do appreciate that. So there is Gamer there in ninth place. V8 Jag in 10th. Slow Peak there in 11th. There is Ash Roy. So Ash Roy is coming through 2.9 seconds. So this is starting to get a little bit worrying now. A minute and 30 to go. They will get another lap. But Danny C is closing him down. He's really pushing. And yeah, that did affect his race, didn't it? Will Southpaw run out of fuel? Look at this push from Danny C. 23-1 from Lewis. There is finalised in third. There is Clive in fourth. Audio muted just behind him there in fifth place. Then we have Southpaw in C. He's doing a good job, isn't he? He's literally coasting everywhere he can at the moment. There is Butler. He's pushing as hard as he can to get that sixth place. Lewis is there in eighth. Crosses the line in the 24th. And a 23 1. That's incredible speed. Gamer crosses the line as well. Viet Jack slow peak at the back. Back to a leader. 2.7 now is the gap. 45 seconds to go. There will be one more lap. And he's flashing red. This is fantastic news for Danny C. Fantastic news for Danny C. 
2.3 and Danny C is going sideways as the tyres start to wear out. Are we going to see another drastic end? Look how close he is now is Danny C to the leader of this race. Let's go on board with him. There is the leader of this race. Took it early on in lap two, did Ash Roy. Danny C had to fight away the demons of the blue flag, which was totally dismissed by the back marker. But he is closing that man in front and he's trying to get that car to hold. And he manages to do so. 1.9 now is the gap. Absolutely fantastic racing by two quality drivers. And look what had happened if the, the others were here. But Audio Muted has come through. He crosses the line. He takes fifth place. It's going to be Southpaw who takes sixth place. It's going to be Butler in seventh as he comes through. Lois in eighth. Gamer in ninth. V8 Jack tenth. And Slow Peak in level. Back to our leader. And it's 1.8 seconds now. Danny C is closing. Oh, that could be a penalty. That could be a penalty. We're going to see if that flashes up. Danny C is definitely closing. This is drama at the end of this race. From four seconds to three laps ago, it's down to 1.7 and again sliding around the corner is Ashway. Goodness me. Ashway with 1.9, he's managed to hold on. Danny C has just done as much as he could with what he had left. And it's going to be Ashway who's going to have literally nothing left in the tank. And he's going to take this win. And that is going to be another one sealed. The double, two in a row for Ashroy. Danny C's in second place. Congratulations, mate. Well done. Great, great pressure at the end there. Finalised is going to come through and take a podium. Goodness me. What a race. And it's finalised. Who comes through in third place? And it will be Clive. Unbelievable from Clive. He was at the back and finds himself on in fourth place. A brilliant drive. But there is your winner. It's Ash Roy of CC Sim Racing. Brilliant. Oh, Lewis forgot to change the mediums at the start of the race. Unreal. Unreal. Goodness me, what a race by both of those drivers. Ash Roy and Danny C. Brilliant, mate. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, Southport, mate. I feel gutted for you. I really do. Danny C. Finalized wasn't that far behind in the end there, was he? Has Finalized run out of fuel? He seems to be going very, very slow indeed. <laughs> but hopefully we will have the drivers in for a chat. Um, I'm not too sure where the, uh, the briefing room is for this now. Oh, there it is there. Let's see if I can get these guys in for a chat if I can. So uh, hopefully we will have Danny C and Ash Boy and finalise in the chat room. So I uh, hopefully we will, we will wait for them. Um, but there we go, ladies and gentlemen. What a race! Unbelievable stuff, drama all the way. But there is your victory. It's that man Ash Boy, and uh, we will just quickly save that replay because that was absolutely superb racing. So Ash Boy takes the win uh, with Danny C in second place. Look how much of a difference that would have made. Unbelievable. Finalised there in third. Clive in fourth. Audio muted in fifth. Southport sixth. Butler in seventh with Lewis in eighth place. Gamer in ninth. V8 Jag in tenth. Slow Peak in eleventh. And thank you very much to our safety car and race control, Adam Bath. So there it is. Ashroy with that win. I do hear a bling from someone. And we will have a little chat with our man who is in third place. It's finalised. Stephen, what a drive, mate. You must be really chuffed with that because you were under a lot of pressure at the end there. Hopefully you can hear me. Oh, Steve. Hello. He's there. He is there. Just waiting for him to answer the call. Hello. <laughs> He's not answering the call. Uh, hopefully he'll just say hello, hello, hello in a moment. And we can listen to what he has to say. That'd be fantastic. Oh, there he is. He's, he's laughing. He's there. There he is. So I, I, I was... Messing with Discord and everything to get in here. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, that was a f absolutely superb race from you. I mean, those two moves, especially down uh, under the bridge. You were hitting a 176, managing to get the car under under braking and turning early and pass that twice. Uh, unbelievable. Same, same move on two separate laps, one after the other. Fantastic. And you managed to get a podium. You must be well chuffed. 
Yeah, uh, doing some practice with Ash and everything and uh, seeing how long he could last on his fuel, I was not able to do that and I figured it out today right before the race. So I kind of got lucky on that. But uh, down to that turn three, I would say, that's a long straightaway. I had just enough of a gap uh, coming out of the hairpin to grab the draft and actually be able to slingshot around them to the other side. Mate, so on, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, it was it, it was a lot of fun. It was very enjoyable. Um, I've just had Mark Price to say, uh, cracking racing comms. Thanks, mate. Really appreciate that. And if it's uh, the commentary is only as good as what we hear and what we see uh, on the track. It was absolutely fantastic. Great stream, Craig. That was a great watch. Cheers, Cap. Right, great to see you, mate. And uh, going to check CCR out on YouTube. He's doing some cracking stuff. He's got an event coming up on Sunday, if I remember rightly. Uh, so if you want to go and... Uh, check them out go and support their live stream it'd be absolutely superb and uh, brilliant stuff there uh well done to danny cracking drive but mates finalized that was brilliant really really impressed with that and uh congratulations mate well done thanks i i, I thought about doing a two-stopper but the 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 strategy time that i was looking at it would have put me like 30 seconds behind from where oh, wow. we've been at and there's not enough of a, a length of a track to actually make up the difference so mm. That was definitely a no-go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, Mario was talk Mario was uh, actually um, you know, talking in the chat room, and he was literally saying, you look like you might actually be able to just go quite far into the race and then and then actually, you know, maybe close the two up front. So that was, uh, you know, very impressive that how long you managed to keep those uh, tyres. I mean, super, super job, mate. Really was. Yeah, they started tearing the last, I think, three laps of them. They were getting really slidey at it. Uh, use a little traction control to keep it under under control, but um, the the fuel is the one thing I was worried about the most. I was hoping to actually extend a little further, but the tires just weren't letting me do it because I was hoping to do a lot further. They only have to do eight laps at the end. That way, I could throw the softs on and just see if I could catch up. But it just wasn't in the cards. Real shame, mate. It really was. But I tell you what, podium at this track is is no. <laughs> Oh, it, that, it, that's fantastic. It really, really was. I mean, I'm really pleased for you, mate. It's, uh, it was a really, really entertaining race. Congratulations. Thanks. I actually enjoy this track the most. I actually enjoy it the other direction better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so do I. I wish I was doing it. I know it's my own fault. I actually chose the track, I think. Uh, but well done, mate. Great stuff. Uh, we do have another blip. Oh, did I say? I thought I had another blip coming in. We will uh, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, he, he went to the wrong chat. <laughs> oh, he did, did he? Oh, hopefully we'll see. Oh, Danny C is there. He is coming in there now. Brilliant. There we go. So we do have Danny C. Hopefully we'll have Ashwood as well. But um, Danny, hopefully you can hear me, mate. My goodness me. That race was absolutely incredible. Closing at the end, four seconds behind. Managed to get it at 1.7. Just, I think, the blue the blue, blue flag, set, you know, the blue flag um, back marker there just didn't help you in any way at all. But also, Ash had the same sort of feature, but it just caught him at the wrong time and there was just no way of getting past. But, mate, still second place, still leading the championship. You must be still pumped for that top two. Yeah, uh, first of all, um, hopefully you can hear me loud and clear. Yeah, yeah, um, mate. Yeah, cool. So, uh, firstly, uh, congrats to, uh, to Ash on the win, and then there's just not really much uh, margin between myself and, uh, and Ash, and we were just uh, walking it to through the, uh, in terms of, you know, managing the tyres and fuel and so on and so on. And then it's just a, well, um, one of them things that uh, when you have, like, a, well, when you have, like, somebody in the middle of it that wasn't even part of, like, well, the, um, uh, the race leading pack, then, uh, of course, it was... Uh, you know, you just got to like it. Well, just be patient and then just uh, be easy going. And because otherwise, it's a bit, if you um, fluff your lines throughout, and obviously you don't want to maybe be like ended up uh, with some damage and, and ruining your race and so. But um, other than that, it, it was uh, you know just a um, a good day at the office uh, from my end also. Um, but yeah, that's it. So I'm um, another like a well like, uh, second place in the bag, and then just a uh, only like a, a point of a cut off of my lead. Um, because to see if Ash is winning, so uh, but there's a lot to play for for sure. Um, and well done to uh, um, finalised uh, also uh, on his podium as well. And he too, uh, I think it's his first podium of the season, something like mm -hmm. that. But um, yeah, it's, um, so um, and GGs to all like participating those like you know just tune in you know to um, to support us and uh, whichever like it, whatever you're on with and um, yeah, that uh, will bring on the next one. Yeah, definitely. We may as well keep pushing. Exactly, yeah. And I mean, that's been your motto from day one, hasn't it? And you've also got your safe YouTube channel as well. So just, uh, do you want to quickly say something about that? Because, well, we've got some people on. It'd be great to get you some subs as well. 
Yeah, I much appreciate it. And for those out of there uh, who uh, don't know or, or do know, like him, well, from my end, that uh, well, I have my own YouTube ch channel, which is uh, um, at uh, Danny C or it's uh, it's Danny C, whichever you like. Um, I, what I do like in my, in my own channel is that uh, I throw down the the lobbies, such as uh, the GT3, GT4, or even rally or whatever like a uh, well, group like a uh, group car it may be on the Tuesday evenings. Um, and I also do too, like I've published some of my own um, race stories uh, with the quality and race, and um, and I also do the uh, well the other ventures, you know, like the GT World Series Manufacturers Cup, uh, for example. So um, um, for those of you who like to go and check me out, and feel free to um, to like and subscribe and um, and go from there. Brilliant, lovely, nicely done, sir. Also, finalise. You've also got Twitch as well, haven't you? Uh, yeah, I do. It's just uh, finalized on Twitch. Same name. <laughs> Fantastic. There you go. Nice and simple. Guys, I mean, that was brilliant racing from uh, you two there. I'm just going to say thank you very much, Stacey. Congratulations. Still winning the championship, going into Autopolis. Before I do grab Ash, uh, actually, no, let's grab Ash, and I'll keep you two still here for a minute, because uh, Ash Roy, I mean, your race tonight, I mean, you, you, it looked like you were very, very eagerly trying to get past Danny C at the start of the race it was like I have to get past him now otherwise this could really screw up my strategy but you got the pass done he stayed with you but just slowly but surely you were starting to creep away a bit and it managed to hold but that blue flag uh, back marker really cost you and Danny quite a lot of time didn't it no, it was. There was there was two back markers, I think, throughout oh, the race. This one. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 I mean, I, I think yeah, throughout, probably lost two and a half seconds, three seconds in total. Ooh. But it was, no, I mean, it, it, yeah, once once it was safe for them to move out the way, they, they moved out the way. It, it was it was fair on their part. It was just catching them on the slowest of all corners, you know, turn one, turn three. And it's just like, yeah, you've just got to be patient and, and make sure you can pass them safely. But it was... A bit of a nightmare qualifying for me. I had, uh, unfortunately, had audio glitch, so my car sounded a bit like an electric car. I kept overshifting, um, missing my gear shifts. So yeah, it was it was not the most ideal qualifying. And when the opportunity to get past um, Southpaw on the softs through the first turn, yeah, I, had, I jumped on that, and then I didn't realise that you know I didn't expect to be as close to uh, to, to Danny going down the back straight and. Yeah, normally I'm happy just to sit behind people and just fuel save and, and make the move later on in the race. But when the opportunity to get side by side, I thought, now nah, I'm taking it. And then, like you say, just race pace. I think I think race pace, I probably had a, you know, a bit of half a tenth, a tenth every lap. and could just gradually creep away and then sort of under fueled on the pit stop just to make sure I've broken the slip you know slip on the second stint yeah. but um yeah no it was a great comeback by danny i think i'm glad there wasn't another two or three laps because uh yeah it would have been it would have made a very interesting end for sure yeah definitely from four seconds down to 1.7 at the end there was uh, quite drastic and uh, he did very very well indeed but mate congratulations you're back in it uh you know you, you you've gained another point off danny but still he holds the championship lead but my my question to you three we'll go with ash first Autopolis next. This is a very tough track. <laughs> What's your deal? What, what, how are you feeling about going into this race? You know what? It's a track that I actually quite like. Oh. Um, it was when, when I first ever started playing GT Sport. It was the track that I would always go and do some track time trial on. I don't know why. It was just it just flows. I like it. I like uh, it suits my driving style. So fingers crossed. I don't want to jinx myself, but I've, I feel like I could be quite confident there. Um, but yeah, time will tell interesting i'm gonna throw that on uh question out to danny c now danny yourself you know something um that track of it does give me like um, some uh, flashbacks when i was uh, playing in one of the uh, need for speed games uh, i think it was the uh, the pro street uh, oh, yes, yes. Uh, game that uh, like it's given them like flashbacks like uh, when that uh, track was on there and then obviously it's nice to have that uh, track as an addition to, to the gt uh, series for sure and uh, and obviously, uh, interestingly, uh, a lot can happen, like especially that um, it could well rain there. So yeah. um, you just got to like, about think outside the box and then obviously uh, be prepared for the, for the unexpected. So uh, obviously, obviously that um, um, getting the braking together and et cetera, et cetera, is also going to be another thing too. And that, of course, uh, will like about throw down an interesting race for sure. Oh, definitely. And you finalised. How are you feeling about the next one? 
I, I actually like the track. Oh, um, goodness me, I was not expecting this from you, <laughs> Free at all. Well, because there are several spots that are good for overtaking, but mm. they're very high risk, high reward. Like turn one, for example, um, because if you get it wrong, you're going out to the sandbox um, way out there. But um, maybe for that track, I could bring a monkey rich. I'll have to do some testing to find out. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Sounds like a plan, mate. I mean, it's going to be I, very, I, very I, intense. I got to be able to run down Ash at some point. I can't let him keep getting out in front of me like that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, guys, honestly, massive thank you for joining me in the comments box. It's been a brilliant race, very entertaining. Considering we didn't have the, you know, every, you know, like we still didn't have Handy Point today. Uh, we didn't have Legion in today. Zaybas was apparently going to be racing in this series, but I'm not too sure what he's doing. I've just seen a message on there to ask me if it was over or not. Um, you know, so we've got some big names still to come back yet, but uh, it'll be very, very interesting. Curry hasn't raced. He's only raced once, so hopefully he'll be back. And he's winning his Alfa Romeo Championship in the Australian uh, series. So that's pretty cool as well. So hopefully we'll uh, see those guys back. But you three were absolutely fantastic tonight. Congratulations. Uh, so everybody else, if you want to come back and join us again in two weeks' time, we're going to be here at Autopolis. It's going to be absolutely mental. It'll be the AMS uh, Autopolis first, so they get to watch me and have a laugh before they have their chance on Thursday. So Monday night for us uh, with the Academy starting off uh, proceedings. And I just want to say also I'm very proud of my son who finished fifth in the Academy on Monday. Very, very uh, pleased with that indeed uh, and then myself finished in third which I also very pleased with myself and my teammates gave me a good pat on the back for that as well uh, and tonight we see Ash Roy take the win here but uh, yeah join us on Monday for the AWRC uh, they will be racing at Nürburgring GP uh, and then we have uh, the mini mods again on Thursday night they will be doing the sprint race of the GP track and the Nürburgring GP so that's going to be awesome because we had a really good race there last time out as well um, and then hopefully, hopefully, depending on what happens tomorrow, we might get a Easter, um, an Easter uh, fun day out, and uh, we'll have uh, five vouchers, ten pound vouchers, PlayStation vouchers out for grabs. All about driving clean and how good you are on tracks. So, but mate, but everybody, thank you very, very much for joining me tonight. That was incredible. Ash Roy with the win. Danny C second, finalised third. Danny C stays in front in the championship in the Lamborghinis trophy. Uh, sponsored by Leap. Join us in two weeks for Autopolis. Take care, everyone. Have a fantastic night. Good night.